of XP's new outfit. At first, I thought he was some kind of fashion victim from outer space, but I was wrong. It's not the latest look on his planet. It's something he's made and designed all by himself for a special reason. Here's how it happened. <laughs> XP wanted to learn to ride, so I lent him my bike. He fell off quite a lot, but he said it wasn't his fault. Oh. Oh. XP, are you okay? Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at my wheel. You bent it. You were going too fast. No, I wasn't. Well, why did you fall off then? Well, maybe it's because the Earth is round. I bet I wouldn't have fallen off if it was flat. Oh, you've got an answer for everything, haven't you? Just look at my bike. Why is the wheel bent, Sarah? Because you bust it. Oh, all I did was fall off. Something else must have bent the wheel. Yes, and what about mending it again? I'll tell you what, Sarah. I'll take it to be mended if you help me find out what bent it. OK, you win. How shall we start? I'll use my scan do to access your computer by remote. There. We can look up the information from here. See? Wow. Neat work, XP. OK. Type in crashes. That's C-R-A-S-H-E-S. -S -E Ooh. Crash tests, crash forces, crash safety and the highway code. You choose, Sarah. OK. Crash forces. These are forces at work. Two forces that we use all the time are pulling forces and pushing forces. The best places to see forces at work is in crashes like these. crashes show the result of forces in action. Here, a force is needed to push the car. Here, a force is pulling. Here, a force speeds the car up. And here, a force slows the car down. Select more to see where the forces are. Press more. I want to see this. The arrows show where there are forces working. The bigger the arrow, the bigger the force. Here, the bigger force pushes the cars. Here, the bigger force is pulling the men. Here, the bigger force speeds the car up. And here, the bigger force slows the car down. I, I, I don't quite get it, Sarah. Well, I do sort of. See, it's like this force is working on all the things around us, right? And then when one of them's greater than another one, it makes something happen. Like crashes? Yeah, and other things, I guess. 
That will make a great topic for an inquiry. Why don't you start one, then? What else is there on crashes? Crash tests, crash forces, crash safety, highway code. Let's do crash tests. OK. Scientists and engineers crash cars on purpose to see what would happen if they crashed in real life. They do this at special testing centers. This one belongs to Myra, the Motor Industry Research Association. Some crash, huh? That's the place to go, Sarah. I'll find an expert on crashes and ask him about these forces. Good idea. Disconnecting. Express minus three, two, one. Oh, you forgetful feather brain. Identify. Audio on. Activated. Scanning. This is the Myra crash test site. Oh, hello, little chap. Are you lost? Uh, is he uh, w with any of you? Um, anyone from Earth here? Uh, no, 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 don't get upset. I'm uh, like a crisp. This is Roisin. She is an automotive scientist. Hello, uh, my name's XP. Uh, this must be yours. No. Oh, yes, it is. No, this is a dummy. A, a, a dummy? The, these are all dummies. What are they for? They're used to help measure forces in crash tests. In crash tests? Can I see one in a test? I can show you one on video. Great. Dummies. Yes. OK, let's go to the screening room. No need. I can put it on my side screen. Uh, just hold on to the baby. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, and the crisps. Uh, thanks very much. Activate side screen. Audio on. We use crash test dummies to find out what would happen to real people in a car crash. The dummies are put in a test car and connected to computers. When the car crashes, the computers measure the forces on the dummy. Dummies help us to design cars to be safe for humans to ride in. Wow! Uh, can I see where that was done? Yes, walk this way. Great. So, this is where the crash test dummies do all their work, is it? That's right, and this is where we crash all the cars. I see, so, so this car will go down this track into that barrier? Yes, that's right. Uh, would you mind if I had a go? Not at all. Oh, thanks very much. Activate scan field. Select speed factor M. Stand by, smart specs. Scan to inform. Activated. Informing. You were running in a straight line towards a solid barrier. You then hit the barrier. The force of the barrier acted on you to slow you down to a stop. You OK? 
okay? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, I'm fine. There's one thing I don't understand. I was moving at speed, but the barrier slowed me down. How did you do it? It was pushing back at you. Uh, how was it pushing back at me? Come on over here and I'll explain. Uh, oh, right. So you're going to show me how this wall is pushing with a force? That's right. Lean on it. You see, it's not falling over. You're pushing on it, but it's pushing back on you with an equal force. Hold it up. Ah, so if I wanted to push it over, I'd have to push it with more force than it was pushing back on me. That's right. Let's take another look at the video and I'll give you a commentary. Uh, right, I'll just make a note of all this. Uh, scan to record. The car has a force making it move towards the barrier. The barrier pushes back with a force, like the wall that you leaned on. The crash happens when the two forces act on the car at the same time. So now I explain you just how my bike wheel got dented. It was because when the force of the bike met the force of the tree, the tree won. Rasheen offered to show him around the site, so they set off to have a look. Meanwhile, I'd taken my bike to be mended, and had found out some more about forces too, especially ones to do with bicycles. Even when a bike is not moving, there are still forces working on it. The weight of the bike is a force that pulls down, and there is a force from the earth pushing back up against it. The bike stays still because the two forces balance each other out. When the bike starts, there are more forces at work. This time, they are not balanced. The force the rider gives the bike pushes it forward. This force is bigger than the friction force holding it back. When the bike is going at a steady speed, the force pushing the bike forward is the same as the force stopping it. Because the forces are balanced, the bike doesn't speed up or slow down. It just keeps going. But when the bike is slowing down, the forces are out of balance again, but this time the other way around. The force slowing it down is now bigger than the force pushing it forward. Betty was going too fast when he buckled my wheel. I'll go back and try and work it out. Yeah, I'll carry out an experiment of my own. Yeah. So I went to fetch my bike from the repair shop. XP was still at the crash test site having a whale of a time. He was watching Rasheen testing a bike helmet. Smart Specs, scan to explain. Explaining? This test shows how helmets protect what is inside them. Without a helmet, the melon got squashed when it hit the floor. The force of the moving melon met the stronger force of the ground. The melon was weaker than the ground it hit, so the melon broke and not the floor. But when the melon was inside the helmet, the force of the floor was absorbed. The helmet was damaged by the force, but there was very little force left to damage the melon. So, the melon survived. People protect all kinds of things from forces in the same way. And that's what got XP started on his road safety inquiry. I took my bike to test it and make sure it was okay. I cycled past the place where XP had his accident. I was still trying to work out how he'd had his accident in the first place. I went along the same route he did and I could stop the bike easily. I tried again, going faster, but I was still able to use the brakes to give me a stopping force before something did it for me. Well, I reckon he must have been going way too fast. 
In which case, I should be able to spot the tyre tracks where he jammed on the brakes. Hmm. It's a flipping mystery. Unless he didn't see the tree at all. No, but that's very unlike XP. I wonder where he is right now. To recall topic airbags. Recalling airbags help protect people in a car crash. When a car hits a barrier, the airbag blows up very quickly. The bag acts as a cushion, stopping the person from hitting the front of the car. Elbow pads to protect your elbows. Ah. Knee pads to protect your knees. Yeah, yeah. Gloves to protect the backs of your hands. No, yeah, yeah. And of course the helmet. Aha. Uh -huh. This has given me a great idea. <laughs> and that's what XP wanted me to see. His new safety outfit. He'd heard so much about how forces can squash you and crush you in accidents. He didn't want to take any chances. Between you and me, I think he overreacted just a bit. XP, hmm. look, I borrowed my friend's bicycle of you to practice on, but uh. first of all, you know when you fell off my bike, you did see the tree before you hit it. I certainly did. Well, in that case, you must have been going too fast, else you could have braked in time. Braked? Yes. You do know bicycles have brakes, don't you, XP? You don't know bicycles and brakes. XP? Don't answer then. I think it would only upset me anyway. Never mind. I learned all about how you can protect things from forces. I'm going to try it with eggs later. But first, let me show you my latest invention. The intergalactic IM IM safety suit. IM IM? I made it myself. This suit will protect the rider from being hurt in crashes. It has every known safety feature and a few more besides. It's easy to... And it's, it, I can't get on, Sarah. Oh, well. There's a force that will come in handy for you then, isn't there? What's that? A pushing force. I've got to go now. Disconnecting. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, oh.